Hi, this is Gene Quinlan with Garmin International. Today we're going to talk about turf. Traditional sonars are just going to show a fish target as one blob at the bottom. With turf, you'll be able to discriminate the different types of fish right off of the bottom. And that's the difference between turf, Garmin turf. Okay, uh, my name is Stuart Wood. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, using the split screen zoom mode on your fish finder to enhance your chances of uh, having more fish de detail on the screen. If we look at this NSS EVO 216, we're in full screen right now. If I hit the view button, um, I can then go to split and go to split screen zoom. And all of a sudden I now have top to bottom on the right hand side of the screen and I have a zoom window which is magnified by four times. I can increase that if I want, or I can decrease it if it's too much. Um, and you'll notice when targets come through. Also, uh, another handy tip, this window here, I can drag this up to look at the top section of the water. And you can see I've enhanced the detail of where the bait are in the temperature. Hi, I'm Jim McGowan with Ray Marine, and we're looking at this GS165 and our CP570 Chirp Sonar. What I want to show you today is a new feature we've added to our Chirp Sonar line that takes a lot of the mystery and the guesswork out of using some of the manual controls on the system. Up here off the screen, I'm going to touch the gain control, and the gain control usually adds, um, or increases or decreases the sensitivity of the system. And in the past, a lot of users would get scared off by this control, and they'd make huge changes on the system and maybe get stuck and then end up with a picture that they really didn't like. What we do now with our gain control, we have this feature called automatic plus minus and it allows the system to run at an intelligent baseline and then you can make very fine tuned adjustments to it um, and see the results immediately on the screen. And we offer this for gain control, also for target intensity. It's definitely worth checking out if you're going to be out fishing. Hi, I'm Eric Kunz, Senior Product Manager with Bruno, and today we're going to show you how to make a quick route on our new TZ Touch 2 MFDs. We go down and look, you can see I'm on the plotter page right now, and if I just use a finger and touch anywhere on the screen where I want to start my route, I can simply say, new route. From there, I can just touch anywhere on the screen, you'll see that the chart automatically advances in the way we want to go. Once I've done that and I'm satisfied, I can just hit end route, and boom, I can now name it, Eric, my name, hit the checkbox, and I've created a new route. It's just that easy. Hello, I'm Bill Carson. I'm the field marketing manager for Humminbird, and I want to show you how easy it is to operate one of the new features that historically was on our higher-end product, the Onyxes and the Ion, and that's called Auto Chart Live. It gives you the ability to set up your own chart, on the unit, actually recording your own chart on the unit, and you can add a zero line SD card. And with the zero line SD card, you actually have the opportunity to record for literally hundreds and hundreds of hours and not just eight. And let me show you how easy it is to turn that feature on. So, all we're going to do is we're going to press the menu twice and we're going to come over to Hummingbird Chart. We're going to go down to Auto Chart Live. We're going to turn recording on and immediately we start recording and we can turn on the auto chart live so that we can have the opportunity to visibly see it on the chart and because we're in simulator you're not going to see it but you do have the ability to do that this is also where you're going to come in and turn on your contour intervals where you can change your contour intervals from whatever you want you can do a minimum and maximum maximum range you can show raw data all of these things you have the ability to do on this unit and you don't have to have an SD card in, but the addition of an SD card, a zero line SD card specifically, adds to the amount of recording that you could do. With the zero line SD card, you could record for up to 17 years. 